and here is the finished product. As you can see, I've taken the textures and I've placed them over the uh, mesh lines. I just bring the fill down as you can see here, and I've added the Claymore symbol and my name. As I said before, all these are in one color. Here's the leather texture over the handle and the steel textures over the blade. So now what we're going to do is we're going to save this twice. File, save as, claim more textures. I've already got it, so I'm going to call this one claim more 2. Make sure it's in your textures folder. And then I'm going to save it again. File, save as, and then I'm going to go into the bump folder. So claim more, and then bump. This is going to be our normal map. This is going to generate our normal map. So you're going to go JPEG, save it, and then go into our crazy bump. What this will do, once we get it open, so click this little button down here, go to open from photo from file, and then let's go to our Claymore bump JPEG. Just give it a few seconds. Now, how do I want my bump to look? I want something similar to this. As you can see, all the metal there is all bumped out. Oh, and here's a preview. You see, that's how the blade will look. That's how my name will look imprinted. And that's how the leather will look. I don't think the leather looks that nice, so let's just up the intensity a little bit. There we go. Sharpen it a little bit. Noise removal. Uh, fine detail. Quite high. There we go. That's it. So let's save this out. So go to save. Save as normal file in your bump slot and change this to JPEG. So GP G. Is there anything else we can save it as, which is a little bit easier? What I think I'm going to do is save it as a Photoshop file. And then save it. And then Spectuality Map shows how shiny each piece will be. So I want the blade very shiny. The handle less shiny, so I don't think I'll do the specular map in here. So let's close Crazy Bump. We'll do the specular map in here. So let's get some boxes. Let's start off with the light grey. The lighter the colour, the more shiny it is. So let's make a box. So I want the blade very shiny, so I'm going to drag a very light coloured grey over it. And then the handle is shiny, but it's less shiny. So now you can make a little layer. Darken the grey a little bit. Like so. Just make that a little bit more transparent so I can see what I'm doing. And then finally, Let's do the 
blade there, which is very non-shiny. So very, no, not the blade, the um, handle. There we go. So let's make this one like that. File, save as. And let's go to play more. Spec. Claymore 2. We'll call this one Claymore Spec. Now let's go into Max. Open the material editor with M. Get your color. Go down to Maps. Diffuse. This is where having it all in order is very important. When it loads up, bitmap, go to Claymore, texture, Claymore texture 2, ok, there we have it, so let's drag that on there, and there we have the blade all nice and textured and everything, but now we need to go to bump, and we need to go down to normal bump, a normal map, and we need to go to clean more again, bump, this always happens, but there it is, it does work, it's just a little bit of a pain sometimes, go back to parent, increase the bump maybe, and then specular color. Let's go to spec. And specular level. So all those done. Let's have a look at it, see if it's a mess. No, that looks pretty good to me. Let's have a closer look at that. Yep, it's got my name on it. It's got all the textures applied. Let's see if that normal map applied. However, the normal map won't work yet because I haven't got a light in the scene. So let's get a standard Omni light here. Move that up. Let's have a look down here. As you can see, there is a little bit of normal mapping working away on here and on the blade. I have the feeling I've forgotten to smooth this. But that doesn't quite matter. As you can see, there's like a bit of specular on the blade there. This is all indented and there are little bumps all over the place. And my name is indented on the blade. Upside down, but still indented. I will have to go back and smooth this. That's my error. I've forgotten to smooth it. But other than that, it's looking good. A bit closer. There we go. That's the end of this part of the tutorial. In the third part of the tutorial, I will teach you how to export this into UDK and add collisions.